I read a true story about a couple that had booked a tour up to Nova Scotia. And on this tour, they were going to be stopping at three different resorts along the way. Well, a few weeks out, they had found their trip advertised at a lower rate. And so their travel agent rebooked their trip at the lower price. When they arrived at the first resort, the couple found that they actually had two rooms reserved in their name. And so they canceled one of them. They found the same situation at the second resort, and then again at the third resort. What the last hotel, the wife was in the gift shop talking to the proprietor and telling him about the trip they had made and all the wonderful things they had seen along the way. And another tourist, overhearing the conversation, went up to the woman and said, Excuse me, ma'am, but would your name happen to be Pelletier? By chance? And the woman said, uh, why, yes, it is. And the man said, I thought so, because my name is Pelletier as well. And everywhere I've been on this trip, my room has been canceled. <laughs> if you put your faith and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ, the Bible says that we have a reservation in heaven. And that God writes our name down in the Lamb's Book of Life. Aren't you glad that someone can't come along behind you and remove your name, cancel your reservation, whether inadvertently or on purpose? In 1 Peter 1.4, the Bible says that we have an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled, and that fadeth not away, reserved in heaven for you. Thank you for watching, and be kind.